Okay, so we want to take some motion capture data that's been cleaned up in Vicon Shogun and take it into Motion Builder where we need to characterize it. And once it's characterized, it just means it's usable within Motion Builder. It means they followed a particular bone naming scheme and you can use it for all your animation. You can use it to drive other characters. So here's our complete motion capture file here. Here we go. And what we want to do is we just want to export this current clip. And we only want to export these solving bones. So that's the skeleton that will appear in Motion Builder. Uh, so if we take a quick look at some of our preferences now, this is in this version of Shogun your FBX export options come up here. So s sometimes they're available when you hit File Export. So they're either under Preferences or when you export it. So FBX, that's the Autodesk Interchange format. Selected Objects Only, Active Clip, we're already Y up. Short Namespace, we should be fine. There we go. So now, uh, what I want to do is just select the solving bone. So under select object by type, there we go. Solving bone, so you can see that's all that's selected right now. I'm going to come here and I'm going to export this. And I'm going to give it a, uh, a better name. And I'm going to put it in my FBX directory, which is right there. Okay. All right, so that should have exported as a just the solving bones. So if I can now come into Motion Builder, there we go. All right, so here we go. Let me just bring this over and bring this up. You just get an idea of what's going on here. There we go. So if you want to add a path, a favorite path, there we go. Your D I do have. There's my FBX directory. I suppose I could make it a junk folder. There we go. I actually don't want that, so I'm going to remove that as a path. So there's my FBX folder. I can refresh it. There. All right, here we go. Let's bring this in. All takes. It is not characterized yet. So there we go. But that's our whole motion capture clip. Fabulous. So what I need to do is characterize this so it is usable within Motion Builder. So I can um, drive other characters with it, use it in story mode, use it, in, use it throughout Motion Builder. In order, before I characterize it, what I want to do is set like a perfect T-pose. So our um, talent did a very good T-pose. It is not perfect. So what we want to do is set Motion Builder up. So I'm just going to come in here for a second. So it's Control-1 for one view. So let's say I come in here and go Control-2. I get two views, and I can go back and forth. And there is my schematic view. There we go. I just want to be able to see everything. There we go. So I want to zero out all these rotations so I have a perfect T-pose. That way when I map the animation onto another character it should work fine. So what I'm going to do is just to clean up the schematic view a little bit, just move a few things over. Now, <clears throat> this is a bit different from the blade skeleton we used to get in that I don't really want to zero the rotations of these shoulders. And I don't 
want to change the skeleton I used to capture with. So what I want to do is I'm going to zero out everything else, but I'm going to leave these shoulders alone. Uh, Vicon says that it works better for real-time solving, so I'm leaving that alone, okay? And wh what I'm going to do is zero the rotation and set a keyframe there. Okay, I'm going to start, I'm going to pick the hips. I'm going to pick the legs. Now I'm using, I'm hitting the space bar and right-clicking. I'm going to do the neck. I'm just going to do the forearms and everything below that. And I want to get the spine too. So there we go. I'm using control click. I'm just going through and selecting these bits. So there you go. So I can come in here now and zero rotation. Okay. That's done. And what I want to do, I can't really zero out this rotation of this uh, right arm. I'll show you what happens. That's not what I want to have happen. So what I'm going to do is come in here and I'll just set this to zero, zero, 90. There we go. So that's nicely done. And I'll come in here and do the other arm and I'll just do set it to zero, zero, minus 90 and there we go so I'm going to do is select everything here okay and I am going to add a keyframe at frame minus 10 all right so that means everything's fine but at minus 10 I have this sort of perfect T pose and that allows me then to map mocap data onto other characters so the next trick is to characterize this. So let's come and do this. There we go. Now there's a number of ways you can do this. I tend to just drag it up. Now, I, it's just the, the largest bone, the femur. It's very easy for me to hit it. I'm going to characterize it. Character must be in a sans pose facing the positive Z axis. I'm going to characterize it as a biped, okay? So now here is our character. I'm going to rename this. Okay, that's just... So at least I've got a unique name for the character. It's characterized. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And I'm using different, it's going to be an FBX file, but I want to make sure that I know it's been characterized. I'm now using CRZ for characterized, okay? There's the Motion Builder Take, let's just save that. So now what I can do, if I come into my FBX directory, all right, I shall refresh it. And there it is there. So now I can test this. I'll bring in a tutorial file. I'll just bring in the Gremlin from the tutorial files. Here we go. And I can quickly test this. So there's my characters. There's the gremlin. Let's just do a quick test, see how this is. All right. All right. So that is now the data I have from Shogun has been characterized, skeleton and I can use it to drive another character, okay? And in the next video in part two, I'll show you how, if you wanna trim the clip, how we use story mode and we use different takes in Motion Builder for a little bit of uh, editing the motion capture, okay?